Bang, bang, bang. Word. Super. Duty. Tough. Work. The most infamous. Podcast on planet Earth. Tell them, man. Yeah, we do it. We do it every week. Let them know. Bro. Every week. Let them fools know. Hitting you with the facts, the jewels, mm-hmm. the laughs. What else? You know what I'm saying? The bars. Uh, you know, the topics. Uh, Nobody talking about stuff like this. Nobody, son. Uh, know what I mean? Hold that. Where you going to get it? Where you gonna, Where else you going to get it? Nowhere, son. He said it. You heard my man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even got to say it this week. <laughs> You heard my man. Uh, we the most infamous podcast on planet Earth. Super duty tough work. Back in the building again. This week, man. You know, we're going to go straight in on this topic because we're mm-hmm. talking off air about it. And this is a topic for all the artists and creative people out there. And this is about soft skills. What are soft skills, Blueprint? Okay, so let's say in real life mm-hmm. you have hard skills, mm-hmm. which is your technical aptitude right. at performing a task. Mm-hmm. Let's say you can type 50, 100 words per minute per mm-hmm. se. Um, that's a hard skill. Mm-hmm. Being able to build a wall, that's a hard skill. Program computers, hard skills. Mm-hmm. Rap, hard skills. Yeah. Paint, hard skills. Saw skills is your interpersonal skills. Yes. It involves how you deal with people. Mm -hmm. It involves, okay, what happens after you build that wall? How do you talk to the customer? Mm -hmm. How do you deal with your coworkers? Mm -hmm. How do you deal with people you don't know, strangers? Mm -hmm. And how that set of skills, the soft skills, impact the outcomes with your hard skills. Word. Now that y'all know. <laughs> Just had to get the definition out there. Out there. Let them know. Yeah, so we on the same page. Right, I right. I don't want to hear no excuses. Right, y'all. right. I didn't know what it was, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> I just told y'all. <laughs> told y'all. So, yeah, this week we're talking about soft skills. Mm-hmm. And we're going to talk about soft skills that artists and creative people must learn. Yes. You have to have these. Yes, you do. Because, yeah, you're dope. So what? Yeah, you need to know how to deal with people mm-hmm. because this whole thing is ran by people. Yes, not computers. <laughs> you know, algorithms are programmed by people. Right. You know, and so uh, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. All right. We got you stuck off the realness, the most infamous, you heard of us, official podcast murderers, the show comes equipped with few points to share, grown man ideas for all those who care and want to grow, so go ahead and download, every single week with a brand new episode, you're not alone in this world cousin, so we share information and honest discussion, and keep repping a culture, like we supposed to, they spread gossip but they never come close to, I can hear it inside their tone, they talk Talk about the industry but never left their home You get laced up with bullet points and such Plus empowering topics that they never would touch You can put your whole network against the team But Super Duty Tough Works the MVP Most valuable podcast on MP3 Priceless info but all of it's free huh. So take these words home and think them through Super Duty Tough Work is coming at you now listening to Super Duty Tough Work with your host, Blueprint, raw and uncut, adult conversations, no shucking, no jiving, and no bullshit. Yeah. We here. Super duty tough work. Y'all see my man's over there with that hoodie on. You know what I'm saying? Gotta rock it. Support. Every now and then splash them. Keep it keep them reminded. Support that, the movement. That the merch is available. Yes, we got that for y'all. <laughs> you know, the book is coming soon. You know what I mean? The merch is already here. You know what I mean? You're gonna have ample opportunity to support this year. Yes. And so yeah, we're talking about soft skills that artists must learn. The first one. We're going to jump right into it because we got quite a few to go through today. Mm -hmm. The first soft skill you need to learn is introducing yourself. (laughs) This seems very basic. Seems so basic and easy, right? But think about how many conversations you have in creative spaces where people just be in the room standing next to each other, Mm -hmm. 
talking to people, talking around people and never introducing themselves. You know, I had Southern parents, Mm -hmm. you know, so in in the South, it was expected. You couldn't just walk into a room and not say hello to everybody. Right. Hey, y'all. Hey, now. Right. Hey, I'm such and such. I'm your cousin. Mm -hmm. This is me. I'm Dorothy's son. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. (laughs) Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yep. That's lacking. Well, that's also present in corporate America. Oh, yeah. In corporate America, you walk into a room. Hey, hey, y'all. I'm you yep. are. I do blah, blah, blah. I work with on the what's the name team or project. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I'm here. Yeah. Shake hands. Kiss babies. Yeah. You got to do that when you Smile, walk into a room. Hey, yep. hey, what's yep. up? That's me. Mm-hmm. And then people do it in return to you. Hey, oh, good to meet you. You are. My name is Susie. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Right. I work in accounting, whatever. Mm hmm. That's lacking in hip hop. Yeah. That's lacking in creative spaces in general. Like artists walk in like they know what it is. They know who it is. <laughs> you already know, son. Yeah, they know I'm the man. <laughs> we go in assuming everyone knows who we are and get offended when don't nobody talk to us. Yeah, you walk in because Cash just walk in and post up. Yeah, let me get on over here. With you know what I'm saying? And wait for people to approach them. <laughs> <laughs> because they know what it is. It's true. And that shit don't, that shit is whack. And then we be complaining about people hating. Yeah. Not fucking with us. Yeah. You, you walked in, you went straight over to the corner, and you didn't even talk to nobody. Yeah, that's why. Didn't introduce yourself to a single person in this room. Yeah. You knew, not even a person next to you, standing next to you. Like we go to events, we go to things, we meet people and stuff, and then we never take the time when we interact with people to just uh, an official, you know, hey, how you doing? Oh, good to meet you. My name is blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And it's just weird. It's like, yo, man, that introduction opens the door for so much. Yeah. But if you skip that step, you'll always be an outsider in any social situation. That is true. Like, how do I? You can't even talk to anybody if you ain't introducing yourself. <laughs> That's true. Why are they going to talk to you? <laughs> If they don't know you. This weirdo over here not introducing himself. <laughs> Eavesdropping. Just hanging out on, on you know No. I think I think social media like a lot of stuff that we gonna go through, I think social media has derailed a lot of this yes. for younger people. Totally. Because when you post on social media, your name's already there. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to introduce yourself because your name is, you know, part of your post. You yeah. know, and you can just dip into conversations. Without, you know, saying excuse me or, you know what I'm saying? Or like being polite, you know, like social media has fucked up a lot of soft skills, which is why when we were talking earlier, you were saying like a lot of 20 year olds was calling into that show that don't have soft skills because they don't know how to interact with people because they too busy on their phones and on their computers. It's very true. It's very true. Like they're sitting there and they're like, um, they're basically like talking in short form all the time Mm -hmm. wondering like okay well why is this uh why is this going down the way it's supposed to go down right and then when you get in long form format in front of real human beings it's like oh because you don't really have no ability to converse with people Mm -hmm. you're just used to jumping in the conversations throwing your two cents in hopping out (laughs) (laughs) right Uh, I disagree yeah. and then walking away I'm out don't gotta explain yourself <laughs> don't gotta have a conversation right you know. right yeah it's crazy so so that shit just kind of fucks up a lot of things and I think a lot of a lot of artists we need to take it back to square one mm-hmm. learn to walk up hey how you doing I'm blueprint I'm here with the blah 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 you know we we know this when we walk into venues when oh, we're yeah. on tour mm-hmm. you know you need to find a promoter Mm-hmm. The sound person. Yep. It's probably you start with the person at the bar. Hey, how you doing? I'm Blueprint. I'm playing here tonight. Yeah. Um. Uh. This is my DJ. Yep. This is the Logic. Yeah. You know, he's playing w- with me tonight. <laughs> whoop de whoop. This is our merch person. Mm-hmm. We do this formally, and everything gets so much easier. Exactly. Because we did that from jump. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, artists got to learn the same thing, man. Yeah. True. So that's number one. Introducing yourself. Mm-hmm. Now, number two, soft skill, which flows from number one, mm-hmm. is introducing other people yeah nothing more awkward than somebody who who won't introduce themselves only thing more awkward than that is somebody who won't introduce nobody to each other yeah because the thing is when you walk into a place (laughs) and you already you already know who's there yeah you know what i'm saying or the people already know you and you brought three friends yeah and you don't introduce them to nobody (laughs) how you expect them to you know what i'm saying interact (laughs) You interacting with everybody, you know everybody, and you done brought these people that don't know nobody, and you Come ain't on. introducing them. Dog, it's crazy. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, people do that all the time. They'll just be people will be having conversations across them. <laughs> they just be standing there like, okay, well I'm here. Yeah, or you brung like you saying you brung somebody to the jam. You meet somebody who mm-hmm. you obviously know, like well enough to speak to, mm-hmm. and then your friend is just sitting there like, uh, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, that's terrible etiquette. It's not even about like. I mean, there are situations where maybe you don't remember that motherfucker's name. Right. This true. has happened to me before mm-hmm. where I'm talking to somebody. And it's like, why don't you introduce me? I say, because I don't remember their name. <laughs> and I don't want to ask them what right. their name is. What's your name again? Okay, cool. This is my dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just offensive. You uh, know, but that's usually the only case where I won't do it. But uh, it's, it's, it's polite. It's a good thing to do. And you never know who couldn't do something for each other and what these two people have in common oh mm-hmm. i know you already i used to work with you did you used to be at yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay i thought i recognized you it opens the door for that mm-hmm. but if you don't introduce people to each other that you're talking to you make the conversation and interactions really awkward yeah but or non existent or non-existent yeah and everyone stands there and then there's no conversation and people just kind of drift off yeah slide yeah. off playing like, okay i'm gonna be out <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. I'm, I'm gonna go get something to drink. Since no, since they're right ignoring me, right? You know, you definitely can't do that with a woman. You oh know hell I mean? no! You gotta keep her in that. She gonna she gonna make you pay. Oh yeah, you, you, know you, I mean? you won't you won't hear the end of that <laughs> shit. Oh, why didn't you introduce me? You ashamed of me? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> You don't, don't want your friends to know who I am. Yeah. What you got some other bitch you been bringing up here? <laughs> right, <introduce? right. laughs> yeah, it's bad with your boys. It's worse with your girl. Woo! It gets dark. Oh, it gets real dark. <laughs> Real dark. I've been there. Yeah, I've been like, there, I'm man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just didn't think about it. I just was in the moment. Yeah, I, I just was wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Soft man. skills lacking. Soft skills yeah, lacking. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, that's number. That's number two. But yeah, in, learn to introduce other people because you want to make sure that everybody's time there is, um, you know, is is enjoyable and that everyone has a good time, man. Yeah, true. You know, so that's number two. Okay, let's do number three. <laughs> Okay, yeah. the number three thing, soft skill that you need to master is small talk. Yeah. Small talk, guys, that's basically all the niceties and things people talk about from, you know, how was your day to, man, that weather is something else, ain't it? <laughs> right, talk right. Buckeyes. You watched the game last night? Yeah. yeah. Man, that Jordan documentary is great. Mm-hmm. You know, all of these things that you may view as mundane, mm-hmm. unimportant. Yeah. They're actually kind of important, extremely important because they make people, you know, they allow people to see who you are and they open a door to other more meaningful conversations. And it sets a foundation for you to build other things on, because if you can talk about the mundane stuff, you get that out of the way. It kind of sets the foundation to dive into other things, especially if, you know, you find things that you're you're um, that you're both interested in. You know, if there's mutual interest in small talk. Then that sets the sets the table to get into deeper stuff, especially if you're at like a work event yeah. or, you know, a networking event, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? Like it's kind of sets the table like, oh, so, you know, oh, you're into that. So, you know, yeah. then you can move on to other things. It's, you know, you have segues yeah. in there. But if you sit there and you're just like, hey, hi. Yeah. Hi. My name is. And that's it. That's it. And yeah. Nothing else happens. Yeah. You're frozen. Like I realized the, the importance of small talk uh, when I was in college right i was in this internship program and you know i went to a smaller college and and i was our program wasn't that great for computer science right but what i realized was that you know we would do these mock interviews with human resources people at these big corporations you know abbott labs and you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. and and, uh 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 uh, farmers insurance whatever it was Mm -hmm. and I would kill these joints. The first one I went in, I was just like, okay, how do I not be nervous? I was like, I'm just going to just talk. Just talk. Yeah. As soon as I got out of that, as soon as we finished it, me and the person who was interviewing me, we talked for like an hour. Mm -hmm. Just small talking. Yeah. Laughing, jokes about whatever was going on. They offered me a job right then and there. I was a junior in college. Mm -hmm. They were like, we don't know what, you still got two years to go. Yeah. But when you get done. (laughs) Just give us a call. We got something for you. Yeah. I never, we didn't even talk about anything technical. Mm Mm-hmm. Nothing was discussed as far as, hey, do you know how to program? <laughs> what languages <laughs> do, you do you know? know how to do the job? <laughs> right. They never asked me. It never came up. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Then I, first, I was like, I'm just going to do that in every interview. Mm-hmm. 
I did that shit in like five or six interviews. Mm -hmm. it, every time it worked, every time I got a job offer. Before I even got to my senior year, I was sitting on like four or five job offers. Some in Columbus and Cincinnati. I had to choose. I was like, yo, most of the places I never even talked about nothing technical, man. Yeah. I, it got to the point where I realized like, yo, man, my ability to get along. That's what people are interviewing me for. Yeah. They want to know, can we plug you into this environment? Right. And can you get along with people? Will you represent us well? If I leave you alone in a room with someone higher up the chain, yeah. are you going to say anything stupid? Yeah, well, do I trust you? Do I trust you? Yeah. That's what your soft skills prove because if you can small talk in a high pressure situation like a job interview yeah. where your livelihood is literally on the line. <laughs> True. <laughs> you Facts. know, like you don't get the job, you, you're, you're broke, you mm -hmm. know. If you can be relaxed there and talk and be cool there, they know that you can handle other situations right. on a day to day because there's not at quite as much situ uh, pressure day to day right. in a job. Right. And so I saw that I saw that right there like, yo, man, what I thought didn't even matter because here I was nervous because I didn't know everything. Mm -hmm. But what I knew was the, was better than anything. Yeah. Because uh, I had the soft skills. I could just talk. Mm hmm. And and I try to stress that to artists. Everything is not about how dope you are. Yeah. Yeah, you're dope. Yeah. yeah you can rhyme. Your tape's fire. But can you talk to people? Mm -hmm. You know, can you can you send an email? Can you meet somebody who runs something and leave that impression on them? Like, oh yeah, I met him. He was a cool dude. That's my dude. Yeah, we fucking kicked it. There are so many people I kicked it with that I don't even remember kicking it with back in my drinking days. Yeah. Because I'm already pretty confident <laughs> and, and cool. I'm right. a personable person. Yeah, I had some alcohol. Oh, it was a wrap. <laughs> Over. Everybody loves print. <laughs> <laughs> my soft skills, uh -huh. you know, probably better than my rapping skills. My yeah. rapping skills are pretty good. <laughs> my soft skills are fucking great. Uh, you know, and uh, that's what you should strive for. I'm not saying you look. You're not going to change overnight, right? Right. Like, but but the the thing to do is to basically um, work every day towards just having small talk conversations with people. Mm -hmm. And using each conversation with somebody you don't know as an opportunity to just get a little bit more comfortable talking to strangers. Like, honestly, without hip hop, I would have no soft skills <laughs> like that. Like, I would not yeah. because I had to when because I, I was just a loner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was in I high remember, school, yeah. when I, I was just by myself. You know, I hung out with a few people. And those were the people that I conversated with. I didn't talk to new people. Yeah. I didn't just introduce myself to people and be out there. Even in job situations, like I would, I would go do my job. I was good at my job. Yeah. And that was it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't trying to meet nobody. I wasn't trying to interact with anybody. None of that shit. And going on tour yeah. and having to, you know, my livelihood being on the line, <laughs> you know, having to sell merch, having to yeah. interact with fans, like that's really what opened me up and it's more prevalent in my job position today that I just talk. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm yeah. usually super quiet, super to myself, but I've gotten to the point now where I'm comfortable enough and confident enough in my skills where I can just talk to people. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's night and day from when I was young. Oh, I remember. Yeah. You was definitely a withdrawn dude. Yeah. Like, you I, was I quiet. Didn't fuck with, yeah, no. I was quiet. It's like, if you, but it wasn't, you was not even just like fuck people. You was just like, I'm just chilling, man. Yeah, y'all like, do that. And if someone introduces themselves, otherwise, I'm gonna be over here chilling, smoking a cigarette or a blunt or something. <laughs> yep, thinking about something. Yep, just yep. thinking deeply, just mm -hmm. like super artsy guy. Yep, that was me. Yeah, you know, and I mean, on some weird shit, you know that that growth in you is part of the reason why you hopped into this so easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, because if you think ten years ago, would you have been able to do this? Hell no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't talk this much. <laughs> Like I talk more now than I ever have in my life. There's no way we would have had a conversation to where I know people are going to be listening. Yeah, yeah. No, ain't no fucking way. No fucking way at all. <laughs> it's real, man. Yeah. Like I've seen it. So like if y'all, if y'all would have saw logic, how he used to be as a teenager, because I've known you since you was with 16, 17. Yeah. Yeah. He was withdrawn, quiet, quiet dude. And now he's just like, hey, yeah, years of practice, years of getting out there. And, and eventually you just start to become who you really are right you publicly. grow into it yeah. yeah because you're not becoming someone different mm -hmm. i think some people think small talk is being fake mm -hmm. it's actually you being authentic because you don't you can just talk freely to anybody right you're not based on oh i'm not gonna talk to him because i don't know him no nah, i'm just i'm comfortable being me mm -hmm. hey how you doing how you doing man yeah well for so, hey yeah for real yeah you're right hey you have a good day <laughs> you <laughs> yep, know yep. just regular engagements <laughs> that people have and sometimes those things lead to other things but in art you know this whole artsy thing we tend to be 
introverts to create our art. Mm -hmm. So we have to really be careful about becoming too introverted. So our soft skills just deteriorate Facts. or never develop. So that's number three. Okay. Number four soft skill you need is listening. Don't nobody want to listen. <laughs> if you do, if you listen to this podcast, you're halfway there. <laughs> right, right. We give you credit because if you listen to us, then your listening skills are way more than most people. Yeah, you're sitting for an hour listening to us. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. It, listening is a skill you develop just like anything else. Mm-hmm. Some people think that listening or like discipline or focus are things you're born with. I don't believe that. No. I believe that you practice. You practice listening by getting in conversations with people and shutting the fuck up. If you if you've ever been a teenager, which yeah. all of us have, <laughs> yeah. there's a time in your life where you ain't listening to shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you've had to grow into being a listener. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way you born with being a listener. No, no, no. <laughs> you get to your or your parents teach you. Hey, grown folks talking. Mm-hmm. Shut yep, up. Shut up. <laughs> you listen. Yep. You walk in this room. You see them. You're listening. They're teaching you how to listen. Mm-hmm. They're teaching you that before you get to chime into a conversation, you should be listening understanding the context knowing your role within that conversation and only hopping in if you so see fit or someone if it moves naturally toward them don't force your way into a conversation your opinion means much less to people than your ability to listen that's that social media shit dog because <laughs> don't nobody give a fuck if people listening to them or not nah they'll tweet they just like hundred times a day yeah they're just like my opinion matters here it is <laughs> I don't care if you like it or not. And I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's it. Yeah. That's the social media mentality, man. It's so true. It's so true. Which And it's, it's bullshit. Because, yeah, it teaches you that this just hop in. But, well, mm-hmm. I got to listen. I'm just going to yell. Mm-hmm. And whether people agree or anything, that doesn't matter. I'm going to yell and then I'm going to leave the room. Yeah. Yeah. Life doesn't work like that. <laughs> no. Nah. Only Twitter works like that mm-hmm. where you can just yell and people actually follow you for just talking to yourself. Mm-hmm. In real life, no one follows you if you talk to yourself. They go the opposite direction. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> like, oh, this man's talking to himself. I'm out. <laughs> he crazy. He crazy. <laughs> no, a conversation means that you actually listen. A conversation isn't you just telling me what you think. Mm-hmm. It's you saying something. Okay, I hear you. Out. Okay, here's what I think as well. Right. We add on. And mm-hmm. then we, we talk about the ideas and we don't make it personal. But Listening is listening is a skill that will take you so far. Anybody who's got a wife, a girlfriend understands this at a deep level. Yes. Like you can be a hundred percent right, but if you just know how to listen to a woman. Yeah. Just shut up sometimes. Just let her go off. Just let her go. She val she don't even know how much she value that to you. You don't say nothing and it's all over. Mm-hmm. And she'll be like, What do you think, babe? <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, oh, I was just listening and letting you talk. And then oh. the fact that you can actually have a conversation about what she just said, the yeah. fact that you actually listen. Yes. Because a lot of motherfuckers just be quiet. And like, women know. They can tell the difference. Yeah. They can tell the difference. And they know they talk a lot. <laughs> you so, can, so you know it's, it's a challenge. Yeah, sometimes to it's a challenge. retain all yeah. that shit. Yeah. So as you just stay focused and locked in, that shit impresses people. Mm-hmm. I don't think you can have a girlfriend or wife without that skill. Hell no. You will be single for a long, <laughs> long, long time. I ain't saying you gotta uh, agree, mm-hmm. jump in, uh, just be quiet, let yep. them cook. Yep. That word? Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. And then when they ask you what you think, <laughs> make sure you at least caught like two or three points that All you right. could <laughs> that you can throw back. Oh yeah, that was what you were saying. <laughs> um yeah, I agree with that part. Right, right. That other shit, yeah, that's tricky. Uh huh. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> Babe, yep. I appreciate you. You're such a good listener. Yeah. You be letting me go off. Yep. yep. And they just go about that. Life is a lot like that. In it general. is. It is. You know, because anybody can actually, you know, talk. Mm-hmm. And when you just show what you want to, what you know, and you're insistent on talking when you get in these conversations, especially small talk, you look selfish. Mm hmm. Most of the time, the people who are rushing to talk are the people who are insecure about who they are, trying to prove like, well, I know this. Mm -hmm. I did that. Whereas a person who listens looks so secure. Right. You know, and so, uh, you know, listening, man. Uh, That's number four. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a break and be right back. What up, everybody? Blueprint here to let you guys know that all three of my books are finally back in stock. That means right here. What a night. This book is back in stock. It's $10. This is a book about the worst shows in my career. That's 10. Word is Blog Volume 1 is back in stock. That's $10. And also, The Making of Adventures in Counterculture. This book is about 
my Adventures in Counterculture album. If you have the album, you know the album, you should have a book too. That's $10. All three of these books are back in stock uh, for $10 each, or you can get all three of them for just $25 right now on waitlist.net. That's all I got today. Uh, thanks for your support. Peace. All right. We back. Mm -hmm. Super Duty Tough Work. Most infamous podcast on planet Earth. This week, we're talking about soft skills mm -hmm. that you rappers, DJs, MCs, producers, visual artists, creative people, business people, whatever you do, you need these. Yes. We got four down. We're on number five. The number five soft skill you need to learn is giving compliments. This is so underrated that some people are like, why do I need to learn to give compliments? Mm. Look, man. Think about like when you meet an artist that you like. The first you don't come up and say, yo, man, show suck, man. Right. You know what, man? I didn't like your last album. First thing people say is, yo, man, that was a great show. Yeah, you killed it. You killed that. Mm -hmm. Think about how that makes you feel as an artist. Mm -hmm. If the first thing someone says is, yo, yo, man, that was a good. You did a good job tonight. Yeah. Yo, your work is really great. Mm -hmm. Yo, you, you you that shit goes way further than to engage someone. And you're like, hey, yo, man, that shit, you know, or just, hey, hey, man, can you sign my. Right, right, right. Hey, can you do this for me? Yeah. A lot of people walk up and their first thing is, how do I get to what I want? How do I get what I want? How do I get what I want? I only got one chance. Mm -hmm. Whereas a person who's cool and confident says, man, let me make sure I'm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hey, man, good job. Yeah. Yo, man, nice shoes. Yeah. Hey, man, yo, your hat is crazy. Where'd you get that? Yeah. Yo, 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 your album is mad flavorful. You can command <laughs> the colors tonight. <laughs> player you killing them with the suit game yeah and then people are more prone to interact with you yeah more prone to have a conversation with you if you lead with 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 that with a compliment yeah like that. i see you over there player. Oh, yep. that's, that's, their time. that's inspired yep. super duty i'm a fan too yeah hey i got this record i'm working on <laughs> word and yeah. uh you know i've been a fan a long time it goes a long way mm -hmm. um and they always say, especially if you're looking at if you're working with someone or or you want to work with someone and you want to say something else that may not be complimentary, mm -hmm. you better hop out there first with the compliment. Oh, first. hell yeah. Lead with the good shit. Lead first. with the good. You know, and uh, compliments are something that people who lack these soft skills, as we talked about social media, you don't really have to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but those who are wise on social media do it all the time. All the time. Like I watch guys, there's guys I, I follow on one of my Twitter accounts who are all just like e-commerce guys, entrepreneurialism guys. They all write books and make courses and all this shit. I'm amazed at how much they praise each other. Oh yeah. Like, yo man, I took such and such course and I learned how to blah, blah, blah. I made a thousand bucks this week. Mm -hmm. He's the man. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yo, thanks. I appreciate you purchasing that, man. Yo, I like what you do too. Mm -hmm. In the rap world. Come on. It's rare. Yeah, we don't lead like that. Unless you're in the same crew. Right. That's the only, like, unless you're in the same crew or you're like boys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You've been friends for a long time. But just randomly? Yeah. That shit don't happen that often. And it's sad because it goes a long way. Yeah. Like, I think about any time I've ever been asked to do something, the the way that that person started that conversation played a big part. Oh, definitely. You know, um, doesn't guarantee I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. But when you think about just meeting people and getting along with people, you know, people never forget that stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they never forget that, yo, I met him and he just told me blah, blah, blah. Like, an example of this is like, when we go on tour, right? Most artists who headline don't watch none of the openers. Yeah. I watch all of them. Mm -hmm. I sit there at the merch table. I don't go backstage. Mm -hmm. Those who know, who've been to shows know this. Mm -hmm. And I watch. And I say, yo, what do you think? Yo, man, that, good job. Yeah. Yo, you killed that. I, I'm quick to walk up. Hey. Yeah. If, if they kill it. Hey. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Okay. That was, that was great. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I found is like over the years, Guys have told me that they remember me saying that mm -hmm. five, six, seven, eight years ago. Yep. Yo, I played in blah, blah, blah. And you told me we did a good job. And that kind of got us super excited about pushing forward. Mm -hmm. People remember that. I didn't want nothing in return from them. Right. I didn't need nothing. Right. We were told, hey, man, good job. I walked up. Hey, good job. Or when they, when they came to sound check, hey, everyone's standing around. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm Blueprint. Good to meet you. You playing tonight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. People don't. 
they don't forget that stuff, man. Nah, they don't. It goes a long way. Yeah. And then you may need something. Maybe, oh man, let me get you. Oh, you need some water? I got you. Mm. Oh, you need to. Oh, you need to meet the person who does this at the venue. Let me introduce you. Hey, um, let me introduce you to Blueprint. He's here. He's playing. Okay, well, good to meet you. Everything is easier because you took that first step and you you led with something positive. Yeah. And I think that's how we got to be with 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 other people, especially those who are not even in creative capacities, right? Mm-hmm. Like creative, we be thinking about ourselves. How can I be better about man? Yo, man, it's a lot of bullshit out here. Mm-hmm. Give praise to people when they do something dope and stop looking at it like you got to reserve or hold your your compliments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, give it that shit up, man. Yeah, I mean, and we talked a little bit about this off air, but um, this goes a long way in the corporate world. You always always lead with something positive <laughs> especially if you're talking to someone in a higher position than you yes you know or even if you're talking to a subordinate that you want to try to get them to do something yeah I, you know i appreciate your time today yeah i appreciate everything that you do thanks for having this conversation with me. right and then tomorrow you hit him with that big project <laughs> you know <laughs> that's got something for you yeah got something for you you know you've been doing such a good job yeah that, that. we trust you with this <laughs> <laughs> You know, but that's but that's how that shit works in that world. Like in yeah. that world, you always have to in order to get people to do what you want them to do. Yeah. Compliment the hell out of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they're more prone to go out of their way to do something for you, especially if you need something down the line. It's like, oh, I got a good rapport with this person. Let me hit them up and see. Oh, I need this marketing you know, information. I need this. I need that. They're more prone because they remember those things. If you're always one of those people that's on the positive tip. Yes, that's a fact. That's a fact, man. So that's number five. Okay. Number six. And this goes right along with number five. Mm -hmm. Soft skill you need to master is accepting compliments mm. my pet peeve with artists is that is the ones who can't accept the compliment yeah man that shit's the, man that shit whack man yeah yo your last album was fuck man <laughs> man that shit uh, my least favorite that shit. album yeah i just threw that shit together dog uh, it's all right yeah it's cool i could have done better mm-hmm. you know what i mean oh yo, yo your show was dope man but you, did you hear when i played the wrong notes in the middle to break down the right ah, i'm so much better than that right shut up yeah when someone gives you a compliment, just say thank you. Yeah, just say thank you. Even though you, I mean, as artists, we're already critical of ourselves anyway. Thank you. So we know what went wrong. The crowd don't know. No. They don't know that you said one wrong word in your whole verse. They nope. don't know. They only know if you stop. Exactly. If it's enough to make you stop, then they know there's a problem. Yeah, they know you messed up. But but what's funny is when you, when you, when you refuse to take a compliment with grace, mm-hmm. you ruin that moment in their mind. Yeah, you ruin it for them. All of a sudden, they're like, damn, look at this insecure motherfucker. Got up there, did all that <laughs> shit. I thought you were the fucking man until I just talked to your fragile ass. And mm-hmm. now you over here talking about how soft and, and, and fucked up everything was. I had a good time. Mm-hmm. You just ruined their show, yep. their experience by telling them. And pointing out all the flaws in what you did. Yeah. Learn to accept a compliment. The best way to accept a compliment. And I was weird about this shit when I first started because I it was just like, who the fuck thought I would have been doing this shit for a little Right. Bit? Exactly. What? Like getting compliments. Yeah. was weird yeah. earlier on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would just say thank you and move yeah. on. But it was still something I had to get used to. Yeah. You know, I had to get used to people saying I was dope, even though I thought I was dope. But, you know, just random people coming up to you that you don't know, telling you how great you are. Sometimes that shit is weird. It can be weird, right? For anyone who doesn't, you know, like we didn't grow up child stars and shit. You go up <laughs> right. first 20 some years of your life and this ain't happening. Then all of a sudden, uh, you know, yeah. and, and everybody, yo, you the man. That mm-hmm. can be a little weird. Yeah. Right. But think about it. Like you said earlier, I knew I was dope. Mm-hmm. I, I believed in my shit. Yeah. There's a, a weird disconnect between knowing your shit dope. It, it dope and believing it and yep. being able to accept compliments. Yeah, it, sh- it should all be the same. <laughs> yeah, but it's different. It's, there, it's there should different. be no disconnect though, yeah. right? It should be like now I would expect someone who thinks they suck mm-hmm. to not be able to take compliments. Right. But if you believe in your shit enough to put it out, to put money behind it, to go out there and, and try to promote it to people, accept a compliment, please. And, and to accept, how do you accept compliments? Just say thank you. Mm-hmm. Say I appreciate that, man. Yo, means a lot. Yeah. There's a bunch of different things you can say. Mm-hmm. As much as you want to say, yeah, but well, actually, I <laughs> right. mean, I could have. It right. was cool, but do not say the word but. No well actually. Just say, thank you. Mm-hmm. Appreciate that, man. It felt good. Mm-hmm. Just say that. Move on. Uh, yeah, move on. Mm-hmm. Appreciate your support, man. 
it's good to be here. You don't have to make up no shit about how bad your day was or or sound like you struggling or this this is this this starving artist shit. Just say thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate that. And that goes a long way. Yeah. Mm. And that's a soft skill. Develop that. Learn mm. to say thank you properly. Yeah. Okay, that's number six. Yeah. Number seven, soft skill. Asking engaging questions. I don't think a lot of people know how to do this. This is another problem with social media. I don't think people know how to do this. And I think children are not being taught this stuff because of phones. Yes. Because of because of social interaction being mainly, you know, texting. Yes. These days or even even like um what FaceTime and stuff is not the same as being in front of somebody. Yeah. You don't really know how to engage random people because yeah, it's, it's it's a weird time that we're living in where these skills are falling by the wayside. Yeah, like people, they want to get to a specific end, right? Mm -hmm. But they ask you questions that are not even. Yeah, that have nothing to do with nothing to do where with they want to go. Yeah, it's like if you want to ask somebody, if you meet somebody, let's say through the course of your travels or talk, and let's say they're a successful person doing something that you might be interested in. Let's say mm -hmm. you're 19 years old and you want to meet somebody who's, you know, in information systems or, or someone who's in a full time artist, whatever your, your your interests are. When you get around them, don't ask them who their favorite rapper is. Right. Don't ask them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, who 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 they think is dope right now? Mm -hmm. Ask them. Hey man. Your path has been really inspiring. What tips, specific tips could you give me that could help me do something similar? Yeah. What should I be focused on right now? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? What, what three things made you successful? Why do you think that you're successful? You ask that. You'll get a completely different set of answers mm -hmm. than you would have with the generic. Let's talk about rap shit because that person now is going to think, oh, this is someone who's really serious. Yeah. And you know how many bad questions we get asked? Oh, so many. By the press, mm -hmm. by fans who sometimes don't even, they just want to talk. Yeah. And I get it. But like if you're someone and you're trying to actually uh, move up to be empowered, to get some empowering information from somebody, ask engaging questions. Yeah. See, this, this is where the um, small talk foundation should lead to. Yes. Is this is the small talk. And then you lead into asking engaging questions to get into a deeper conversation, especially if it's somebody that you want to get information from. Yeah. You lay the foundation with the small talk and then you will start engaging yes. and the small talk can lead to engaging questions because then you start, you know, kind of filling each other out. And then it's like, OK, so it sounds like he's interested in this or sounds like he yes. knows this or, you know, what I'm saying then you start probing those questions and it makes for a lot, a lot better interaction. Yeah, That's all this podcast is. Mm -hmm. That's really all we do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a framework, but especially like our but we still. All of these concepts are in there. Mm -hmm. You know, I've interviewed you on here. You've yep. asked me questions about shit. I interview other people. And if you look, I ask questions that are meant to engage people right. and take them down a certain path right. where they can, you know, just express themselves, not just be trapped into, okay, whatever is bullshit. It's mm -hmm. like, yo, dive a little deeper with people. Ask questions that let them know that, that you care but that also opened him up to, to speaking about something significant, man. Yeah. You know, and, and sometimes like, like you're saying, if you're, if you're really on your small talk game and someone is going somewhere, don't be afraid. Oh yeah. What made you do that? Mm -hmm. hmm. What, what, what was behind your decision to go to that school? Yeah. What made you choose Ohio state? Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Engineering. What made you choose electrical over civil? Yeah. Hmm. Is the job force what you thought it would be? You know what I'm saying? Uh, how, how hard was it getting a job? Man, I'm interning at blah blah blah. What do you think about that company? Yeah. Um, what would you ask tell someone who has, you know, the, the education but no experience that they should be focused on? Mm -hmm. You see how I just did that? This yeah. is just that's an example of engaging questions. There's no way to answer any of those questions with a one word answer. See? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Maybe. You read the art of the interview? 
the book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably told you about the book. Yeah, you probably did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, it's, it's a great book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I own the book. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do too. It, t- it teaches you a lot of this stuff, yeah. just about how to engage people, not necessarily how to interview them. I mean, it teaches right. you that too, but just how to engage with people and have conversations. It's yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I bought it maybe 2014 before I started doing a podcast. Okay, so I've had it for a minute because yeah, I was you probably like, told me about. It. We probably talked about it on the road. Or probably. Something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've had it since 2014, 2015. I yeah. think. Yeah, because yeah, we started this in 2015. So yeah, I probably had it right before then. Mm. But yeah, man, like ask engaging questions. Yes, no questions. Nah. Right. You know, instead of, hey, do you go to school here? Oh, ask something that, that leads somewhere. How do you feel about going to school here? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, like dig a little deeper and you'll get better. What's up, everybody? Here to let y'all know, we got a brand new seven inch available on the waitlist.net web store right now. The name of the record is Let Us Pray, and it's by the Thermites out of Reno, Nevada, featuring myself, Blueprint on a Rhyme. As you can see, we're dealing with some beautiful clear vinyl right here. The A side of the record is the vocal version. The B side of the record is the instrumental version. And just so you know, there's only 500 copies of this record, and I've only been given 50 to sell total that means that if you want one of these records you better act fast this is the let us pray seven inch available exclusively at waitlist.net get yours before they run out Peace. To us, but to them, it's really small i guess we still need faith like biggie smalls enjoy the quiet and meditate silence the mind thinking of a better day let go of yesterday give thanks to the sun for another day let us pray Soft skills for that ass. <laughs> Word. Super duty tough work. Who else is talking about topics like this? Not not no hip hop motherfuckers. That's for sure. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> That's for sure. They're not helping y'all, man. They don't care about y'all. Mm. They're not sharing shit. Mm. This is shit it took us decades to learn. <laughs> <laughs> They're giving it to you in 60 minutes. You know what I mean? Or less. You know what I mean? Okay. Number eight. Soft skill you need to learn is answering questions clearly and concisely. Yes. Now, it's cool to meander in your art. It's cool to freestyle on stage. But when you're talking to people, especially strangers, people who you don't know, get to the fucking point. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know. No droning on and on. No, man. Like, if I ask you, you know, uh, do you have a job? It's a yes or no question. Right. And if I ask you where you work, I don't want you to go all the way back to, well, <laughs> well my, I used to work. Yeah. See, what happened was <laughs> before my girlfriend dumped me, I was living here. Right. Mm-hmm. And then the this, this storm happened. And then when the storm <laughs> happened, the shed fell and my my shit was in there. So then when the, the shed fell, the insurance claim got all fucked up. So I was living there. Right. <laughs> And so my plan was to sell what was in the shed so I could go back to school. Uh, and then I would go back to school and get the degree. But then what happened was because I hadn't applied. <laughs> and the last time I went to school, I was late on that semester in a storm. So I'm cleaning up this shit. And uh, what, what was, was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what was the question again? Do you have a job, fool? <laughs> this is what that little cat's going to take you all the way around the globe. <laughs> yes or no where do you work uh, you know like, <laughs> oh man it's a skill uh, look at when you look at the most successful politicians and you look at the debate don't forget the politics of it right. look at how polished they are at answering questions right right they are the best at giving clear and concise quite answers even if it's false yeah even if it's bullshit they it, it doesn't the truth doesn't matter right did they answer it mm-hmm. yes did they meander for 12 minutes no mm-hmm. they gave you what you needed to know even if it was scripted and it sounds like you don't believe it or it's whole who cares yeah. there's a lot to learn from those types of people people who are answering questions clearly and concisely um get further because when you meander people think you're lying yeah, because the ones that do meander, they don't last long. No. They not on the debate stage the next time you see that debate. No. no. <laughs> they do not last. No, like if someone asks, if you ask somebody a simple question who you just met mm-hmm. um, in, a, in a social setting, whether it's work, you know, or, or after work or something, 
and they start meandering and, and hemming and hawing and going all the way around the globe, you think either they lying or they're real insecure. Right. Or they're a bullshit artist. Right. And the older you get, the the, the easier of a time you have noticing the bullshit artists. Yeah. It's a lot of them out there. They get over. They just start telling everybody about this damn shed and everything that, that you ask them starts with this, this storm that happened to them. <laughs> Like, yo, where'd you park at? We'll see the storm though. <laughs> my 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 real car mm-hmm. was in storage, right? <laughs> but the storm happened. And so my homie was like, yo, I got you. I got another car. But see, his car was acting funny. So I got my joint. Where'd you park at, man? <laughs> I just asked you where'd you park. I don't have a car. Just say that. Uh, <laughs> the, the sad thing about bullshit artists, too, is that the truth is in there. <laughs> deep in there. Yeah, it's like deep. Like they sprinkle the truth <laughs> in a bed of lies. You know, <laughs> like there's little there's little pieces of the truth just sprinkled about this big ass <laughs> lie that they tell it. Yeah. But it's little pieces. <laughs> it's little pieces. It's oh, true, man. man. You know, so like answer questions clearly concisely if someone asks you a question just tell the truth mm-hmm. you look so much better just telling the truth than meandering and bullshitting right also if you're answering a question if someone asks you something and you don't have an immediate answer or something you never thought about pause and take a breath yeah man what do you want to be doing five years from now well i will see what i was thinking about you know what i'm saying and right. i saw him do that and then they did that and i was ah, what do you want to do five years from now hmm. that's a good question yeah well, my original plan was to be, bam, in five years from now. Mm-hmm. But this thing happened, so I'm kind of ahead of myself. So actually, I'm winning G, you right, know what I mean? Right. I'm right where I wanted to be. <laughs> I'm doing it, you know? Or, hey, man, you know, I, I'm going back to school next week, and, uh, you know, we start this fall semester, and yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Five yeah. years from now, it'll take about four or five years to get out of college, and that's where I want to be. Mm-hmm. Very simple. Just think about it. You know, I want to be whatever, doing this, doing that. But don't just look like a liar mm-hmm. when someone asks you a question that that requires you to stay where you're at or, or or to reveal more about yourself there's a way to answer it without looking like an idiot right and just think about it you know and and, and honesty goes a long way honesty is so much easier yeah it's so much easier you know like guys go they, they waste so much time trying to impress people that you know it's like no man just be honest that impresses people mm-hmm. you know so that's number eight number nine Soft skill you should master is saying less than necessary. Less is more. Fools be volunteering so much information. Mm. Like they'll get in a conversation with strangers and they just want to dominate it. Yeah. With tales of, of old, you know, <laughs> tales of your tales of your <laughs> folk tales. <laughs> Hood tells <laughs> just shit that no one asked for. Mm-hmm. The volunteering information that nobody asked them mm-hmm. about topics that nobody asked them about, just so that they can get a chance to get their shit off. And then that 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 doesn't help in a conversation Mm-mm. setting because nobody want if you're trying to dominate a, a situation, yeah. a conversation with talking way way too much, then there's no engagement. Yeah. So then the person that you're there with gets bored. And then because they're not talking, they're just sitting there listening to you mm-hmm. and then, you know, they fade off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you don't have any engagement. You don't have you don't meet anybody that yeah. way. Yeah, it's true, man. Like, look, be measured in what you say. You want to be like you say, you want to be clear and concise. Mm-hmm. But even in situations where you're asking or someone asks you about yourself or just get to the point and say what's necessary. Right. But don't just keep going mm-hmm. because like you're saying, the more you talk. The less engaged everyone else is, the more they think you probably lying because you just keep <laughs> blabbing on and right. on about some shit. Like yep. no one who's really secure in what they're doing will be talking this much. Mm-hmm. You know, one thing you, you notice about successful people, they don't like to talk about themselves. Nah, like man. Successful, you got to draw it out of them. Yeah, G's moving silence. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, I just got a little something. Yeah, I just do a little bit. Oh, this whole thing? Oh, that thing? Oh, yeah, I drive that. Mm-hmm. They're not like, hey, man, yo, I guess what I drive, man. <laughs> Right. Guess what I got? Right. That's what I just did. Mm-hmm. It comes off as insecure because you're you're telling this shit without people asking you. Mm-hmm. And so I always say less than necessary. You know, it's like, you know, what's that saying? Go like uh, better to be thought of a fool than to talk and 
improve yourself, improve yourself. So, yeah. to be a fool. People just love proving themselves to be fools because they talk too much. Yeah. I have to watch this shit on Twitter. Like on Twitter, people be like, what do you mean by that tweet? Right. I'll never elaborate. Yeah. Just nah. Just, you know, read. Let you interpret that. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to say it. Those who get it, get it. Mm-hmm. Those who don't, going to be lost. Yeah. It's not meant for them. But I'm not, what I'm not going to do is make a thread explaining a, a hundred word tweet. Right. For you. Right. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Yeah. I was watching this, um, this uh, uh, interview with Ice Cube mm-hmm. and Nick Cannon actually was interviewing him. And um, he was asking him, like, you know, a lot of people don't know what Ice Cube has because he's not one of those flashy dudes. Yeah. Ice Cube walks around with jeans and a jersey on, some sunglasses and a hat, some Jordans. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But this cat got movies. He got he own a basketball league. He you know what I'm saying? Like and um Nick Cannon was like, "Yeah, I never seen, you know, like have you ever been on the Forbes list?" He was like, "I don't want to be on the Forbes list. <laughs> I don't need people to know what I got." <laughs> <laughs> I don't need people to know be all up in my pockets like that. Yeah, that's real. That's you know real. what I'm saying? But yeah. you know Ice Cube is a multi, multi-million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's straight. He got, he's very, very, very straight. Yeah, he's doing good. Doing well. <laughs> but he like, I don't need no, I don't need no Forbes. Yeah, that's how you know he grew up in the hood. <laughs> right, I don't yeah, need I don't that. Want no attention. Yeah, no, nobody. Yeah, yeah. Below Six, the radar. Yeah, successful people are like that, man. Yeah. Um, you know, there's this this dude on online. He said he was talking about dating. He said one of the big mistakes men make when they go out women is that they talk themselves out of it. Mm-hmm. Like the woman goes on a date, like yeah, he's cool. I'm gonna it was the dudes his 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 his, his desire mm-hmm. to show and prove and show and prove means that he just talks himself out of whatever she was trying to do with him. Yeah, you play your, you play all your cards too early. Yeah, too early. Even if it's true, even if you're telling the truth. Yeah, you don't play all your cards. No, you got ah. you got pique some interest. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like little mystery ah. helps. Little bit. Little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's number nine. Okay, yeah. number ten. Soft skill people need to master is written communication. Now you would think because people are on the internet and they can't just, and they suck in person with these skills, that mm-hmm. they will be some hell of fire writers. That they could write a mean email. 140 <laughs> characters or less, bruh. 140 characters or less, that's the problem. Everybody can text and tweet. Right, right. Can't nobody write no long form nothing. <laughs> no. no more. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, longest thing they write is a Facebook post. That's it. That's it. It might be a paragraph. Yeah, mad acronyms. Yeah, and, like yeah. mad, you know, short, shortened words, you know, <laughs> yeah. words misspelled, slang. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've I've proofread, like, my kids' papers yeah. for school. Yeah. And I've read, like, bad, you are not texting. Bad. Yeah. Like, you is a word, not just a letter. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? LMK. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, hitting with the LOLs. Yeah, the like, yeah, man. Like, you know, I've had to go over their papers and stuff. Like, you got to remember, like, who your audience is. Yeah. Like, this is for your teacher. This ain't one of your homies nah. that you send in this paper. They don't need to know about the Spanish. You know what I'm saying? Like, acquisition. Like, they don't need to know about none of that. And you don't, you don't abbreviate words. <laughs> And everything isn't lowercase. Yeah, the, you yeah, know what that's I'm saying. True. Like no periods, no periods, run on sentences, run on sentences all lowercase. No, yeah, no commas, no <laughs> semicolons. You know what I'm saying? Ampersands. Right. You know, what I mean? <laughs> like come on, Oxford bro. Oxford comma right. every now and again. Yeah, every now and then. <laughs> oh man, contractions have apostrophes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah, yeah, yo. Ah, uh, you should be capitalized. Exactly. <laughs> oh man, because they're so used to texting. Yeah, you know what I mean. So they don't think they don't correlate the the audience. They don't think about the audience that they're writing it for. Crazy. It's wild. Yeah, the youth, man. They they got an uphill battle with that one. Uphill. Like we we got to be thankful that we were writing long before that came up because. Mm-hmm. We write in sentence form. We yeah. text in sentence form. Yes, we do. We write with periods, <laughs> yeah. you know, some punctuation, no, all that. I hit you with the two spaces after period. Even <laughs> yes, be a text. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Yes. I'm definitely giving you the period. I'm giving you the two spaces for the next sentence. Though. Yep. Uppercase. Commas. Yeah. All of that. I might hit you with the Oxford joint. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> to continue the thought I was making in right. that sentence. Right. You know, I'm going to do the list, the semicolon coming out. It's yeah. just. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. All via text. Right. Because that's how I write. Uh-huh. Like, it's, it's, it's no difference. <laughs> but yeah, it's like they got a whole new language that they have to unlearn mm-hmm. to be good at writing. Yeah. And it's very difficult when, when you, when your main form of communicating with people is text. Yeah. And it's like the shorthand, short form. Yeah language unto itself that yep. actually works against your command of the English language. Exactly. It's crazy. It's wild. Yeah, man. So written communication, man, that it, it is a skill. Learn to write a good email. Mm-hmm. Learn to write a text that is grammatically correct, that doesn't look like it's slang because you're going to be dealing with some professional people. Yeah. You know, learn to summarize what it is you want, how to pitch yourself in a paragraph or mm-hmm. two bullet points and such you know what i mean right, like right. learn to get to the point in an email and so that when you could start communicating with people you're not shooting yourself in the foot right you know written communication yeah so we got two bonus joints bonus bonus joints because we have more than 10 on this one we probably could do 30 uh so the bonus joint number 11 soft skill you need is positive energy go so far Gosh, when no one want to deal with somebody they don't know who got fucked up energy. Oh man, come on! They walk in the room looking, and all you already know, <laughs> screw face. <laughs> you don't even want to introduce yourself. Nah. You don't want to. You don't want to be close to them. Like, oh, they look fucked up. Yeah, and, I ain't even going over there. And honestly, that's probably why some people struggle with all these other things. Yeah, they can't introduce themselves, introduce others, small talk, listen, give compliments, <laughs> accept compliments. Ask. They don't get to do none of that because the energy fucked up. Yep. So don't nobody want to fuck no. with. No. They're like, why don't nobody talk to me? Uh huh. Your energy's bad. Yeah. You walk in looking mean. Eyes looking all down and uh, like you had a bad day. Yeah. Walk in with some positive energy, man. It helps. Walk in like, hey, man, how y'all doing today? Like, like you happy to be there. Even if you got to fucking pretend, pretend. Yeah. That's what being a professional is. Being a professional is doing what you don't feel like doing at all times. Yeah, if your energy is fucked up, keep your ass at home. Yeah. If you can. If you can. You know what I'm saying? If you can, then don't fucking go out. Don't. But we don't want you, we don't want you there. <laughs> right. We don't want you there with your fucked up energy, messing up the vibe. Right. But then they'll be like, well, I feel like shit. Let me go out. Maybe this will make me feel better. Nah. And then you go around people who are there to have a good time, but you acting like shit. Yeah. You know? So that it, shit it just sucks. But yeah, positive energy, that's that's a soft skill. The, the art of learning to Put aside what you may have been through that day, mm-hmm. what may be bothering you long term, and to go out and engage with people as if whatever's going on in your personal life doesn't matter. And 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 rising your energy to the level of the room. If people are having a good time, contribute to it. Right. Don't try to kill it just because you're having a bad day. You know, like that will take you very fucking far. Well. Okay. Last bonus joint and last one of this evening is ask for nothing. As being able to talk to people without asking for something is a soft skill. Yeah, it's a it's a it, you master that people will love your ass. Then they'll give you shit. <sighs> they'll answer the phone every time you call. Yeah, they'll offer things. Yeah, email. Oh, man, <clears throat> he hit me up. He don't never ask me for shit. Mm-hmm. Man, what's up with you? Mm-hmm. How you doing? Yeah. I'm an expert at not asking for shit. Sometimes to my detriment. Yeah. But people know. <laughs> right. Print ain't just going to call you and ask for some shit. Right. He'll call you, see how you're doing. He might be bit too busy to call you, but the last thing you're going to expect is me to call you. Hey, man, can you, uh, mm-hmm. man, can you let me hold something? Mm-hmm. Man, I really need, that's not how it goes down with me. Nah. And I don't have problems with people not answering my fucking phone calls. Mm-hmm. And I would like to believe that that's the main thing that stops some people from fucking with people they don't know. Yeah. The people you walk up, you're dealing with somebody who may be in a position of power, may have high value, may be successful. And instead of just engaging them as a human being, you look at them with dollar signs in your eyes. Yeah. What can I get from them? What can I get out of them? What can they do for me? Yeah. And because you feel that deep inside, it comes out in every time time you talk to them. Yeah. You're sitting there like, yeah, man, I can't wait to, hey, man, can you, hey, man, do you know how to, hey, can you hook me up with the, hey, man, you know what? I got this thing that you you would love. Yeah. Man, you should check out my. Yeah. Two minutes into the conversation, you're pitching yourself. Yep. And when that shit happens with me, I like my brain shuts down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially with somebody I just met and we've been talking for less than five minutes and you already asking me for something. Yeah. Like the conversation in my head is over already 
You know, I don't I don't even I don't deal well with that. No. And most people don't. You know, some people are, are cool enough to pretend, mm-hmm. you know, long enough to end the conversation. Right. But when you jump out there like that and you ask for stuff from people all the time, you deal with them. They're going to see you as someone who's just trying to take advantage of them. Mm-hmm. And best believe that whoever that is who has the ability to do something for you, they've dealt with people like you before. Right. And they know how to tell the signs when someone is there asking for something. And like you're saying, when you don't ask, that's when people want to help you. Mm-hmm. Because people will look and be like, yo, I talked to this. He never asked me for nothing. He's a cool dude. Mm-hmm. Then they might d- dive into what you got going on on the side. Right. And then they say, like, oh, maybe oh. he needs some help with blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh, I could see that this might need some work. He may not be as proficient in this. Let me see if I got something I can do for him. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They want to help you. They see you moving. You didn't ask them, mm-hmm. but you could. Anyone can use a little help. Yeah. More help, you know. And so they see, man, let me let me see if I can help this dude. How can I help him get to his goal? Because I want to see him succeed. Yeah. You know, and he's a legitimate good dude who don't ask for shit. That will take you so much further than than going into these engagements with people with your hand out with a list of demands and shit you want. <laughs> right. You know, so that's it. That's it. That's it. OK, let me read them back. Soft skills that artists must master. Number one, introducing yourself. Number two, introducing others. Number three, small talk. Number four, listening. Number five, compliments. Number six, accepting compliments. Number seven, asking engaging questions. Number eight, answering questions clearly and concisely. Number nine, saying less than necessary. Number 10, written communication. Bonus joints. Number 11, positive energy. Number 12, asking for nothing. Word. That's it. That is it. See you next week. Peace. Peace. Super Duty Tough Work. Subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Follow the podcast on SoundCloud. Peace. Okay, I got styles already. That's more complex than that nobody knows about. I mean, Super Duty Tough Work. That's how we got to be with, with, with.